Now, the recording you're just about to listen to is very different from any other recording I've made. And it's different in this way. Normally, people come to this channel to look for answers. Normally, people come to this channel for clarity, yeah, to know my view of what is going on in Kenya, yeah. People also come to this channel to pick up from the nuggets of wisdom, yeah, that appear in the comments area of uh, my videos from time to time, yeah. But in this particular video, I'm not going to be giving you any wisdom. And I'm not going to be giving you any of my views. Yeah? In this recording, actually, I'll seek wisdom from you. And I'll uh, seek that wisdom by giving you a riddle, a proverb. Okay? Now, I've often said on this channel that it's very unfortunate because of the current developments in Kenya and what is about to happen History is going to change its mind about uh, founding father Mze Jomo Kenyatta. Okay, I've said that. I've said that his name is going to be dragged from the grave and uh, all his weaknesses and all the things he did wrong are going to be exposed. But the truth is, every human being has got a good side and a bad side. And the whole trick is to try and enhance your good side, promote your good side as uh, much as possible, and try and limit or uh, mask your bad side. Now, the good side of uh, Mze Jomo Kenyatta is that he had a lot of wisdom. And uh, one of his favorite uh, ways of uh, spreading his wisdom was uh, in giving proverbs. Yeah, I've mentioned before the Kikuyu proverb he gave, that if you want to catch a cow, you don't shoot the rope. Yes, this was uh, in connection with the Change the Constitution movement, which was seeking to block uh, Daniel Arap Moy from automatically ascending to the presidency, on the death of uh, Jomo. Anyway, here's my riddle. Okay? Now, the riddle is this. First of all, let me give you a bit of a background. Okay? How did the Kikuyu community come into being? Okay? We are told that uh, Kikuyu had a wife called Mumbi. And Mumbi gave birth to nine daughters. Okay? Very quickly, their names were Wanjiro, Wanjiku, Wambui, Wangui, Waithera, Washera, Nyambura, Wairimu, and Wangari. It's from these nine daughters that the Gikuyu community as we know it today came into existence. Now, here is the big question. Not the riddle yet, just a big question. For a woman to give birth to a child, yeah, she cannot do that on her own. Yes, she needs a man. Okay, She needs a man to plant a seed inside her womb. And then uh, a baby is created. Now we know that uh, Gikuyu did not give birth to any boys. So there were no Gikuyu men. Okay? So what does that mean? It means that men from elsewhere, outside the Gikuyu community, are the ones who impregnated the nine daughters of Mumbi. Now here is my big question, big proverb. Okay? Why is it that the Gikuyu community are the only people yeah, who can save Kenya. From where we stand now, why is it? Because it's a fact. We, you know, the train has left the station, we are on the edge of the abyss. Kenya has just gone too far into the dark side. Yeah? However, there's still one last hope. Yeah? And this one last hope is the Kikuyu community. Yeah? So why is it true? Why is it a fact? that the only community in Kenya today that can save the entire country is the Gikuyu community. Let me hear your answers. Let me hear your thoughts. And remember, while you give your answers and your thoughts, let's leave emotions out of this. Because I know of a man called Nelson Mandela who spent 27 years in prison. In short, he wasted the best years of his life in prison. But when he came out, there would have been no new South Africa unless he was willing to forgive, unless he was willing to compromise. And if Nelson Mandela forgave, and hence his greatness, then there's something to learn there. So let's leave emotions out of it. I know emotions are very high in the country. I know temperatures are very high in the country, especially against this community. Okay? But let's leave that out of the door for a minute and let's engage our brains. Okay? So let's see in the comments area, how can the Kikuyu community save Kenya? Okay? I'm really looking forward to your thoughts. This is Chris Kumekucha. Kenya Inchi.
Kenya.